Hey guys, welcome back. I am doing my third Traveler's Notebook spread for Journals for Life for the June 2022 kit. And it is so cute and bright and summery and full of all happy things. I've been loving it. So I've got this photo here of my youngest slurping on an ice cream. You know, with that weird red coating stuff that turns your teeth red. Mm -hmm. That's what she has going there. And in the summertime, she gets all kinds of freckles. Isn't that cute? So I have this page here that is perfect and I can do ice cream right there. The other side is white, but it's kind of cool because is it white or the very, no, I can see this grid through it. So it kind of looks cool, but not sure what I'm doing yet. Now I did save all of these cute ice cream cone ice creams, ice pops, popsicles, whatever you call them where you are, to play along with this photo. Because, I mean, why not? It's adorable. Let me try to get, okay, that's cuter. So I have all of these. That would be fun to kind of make them wonky and into kind of a, um, oh, that's cute. I'm going to pop that up. And I want to mat this, maybe, I've got this, full piece left of our pattern papers that we get to have. So I have this. I wonder if I have enough to map my photo. I probably won't. I can make a little tag. I felt like making a tag for some reason. This is for my stash and I don't love the color of it, but I do like to use it as a template. So I have that handy dandy. Oh, I have another popsicle. Cute. I like it even more. Perfect. So I can have them looking structured if I want, but it doesn't seem like they're having very much fun. Okay, so I think I'm gonna make a tag. I'm gonna map my photo. I like this word summer to pop up and have a little dimension with. Um, let's see, is there anything else? I could bring in some cute stamping in and around where my ice creams are gonna be. And I think that would be fun to do them in those same pretty colors. So clearly I need to get this started. I'm got, I have to go get some inks. I have to map my photo, <sighs> do a little tag something for no, well, maybe I won't do a tag. And the reason why I'm saying that, look at me, I'm flopping all over the place because if I stamp around it in bright colors, I'll be all happy with that too. Okay. Let me get some ink. I'll be right back. So what I've done is lightly tack down these ice cream cones. I think I'm going to pop them up on a little dimensional adhesive, but I wanted their placement down so I can kind of stamp around them, if that makes sense. And I'm, I'm so digging the stamp set. So I'm going to start with the sun up here because it's super like obvious day. Then I just want to use these different colors. These are all Catherine Puller inks. I have sauna, I have pink champagne and hot tub. I think they match really nicely with the goodies that I have here. So, oh, and guys, I still have these acrylics. I'm not gonna use them all because I want a couple on my cover, but I mean, seriously, look at that. Like, would y'all look at it? They are so stinking cute. It might even be something that simple because I love them. They're so cute. Okay, I'm gonna do a little bit of stamping. I have my little foamy, Stamping Dealy O. There's a better word for that. Yes, there is from Journals for Life. Shannon 20 people use your discount codes. I love, I love to save things. I love to save money because then I can buy more crappy supplies. Okay, so I haven't used this cute little sunshine yet. So I'm going to get it kind of used to going to work. I'm going to do that. And I'm going to do some stamping. I'll show you where I'm going with it in just a moment. Okay, so I did my stamping and I'm telling you guys, this stamp set is the summer bee's knees. So, I mean, super obvious. I just stamped with the three colors over and over with goodies in the stamp set. Some are cleaner, like stamps, some are not. It's cute. So that's good. Then I have this little piece here that I'd like to use. I think it brings some of the yellow over and it reads sweet summer, sweet summer, sweet summer, sweet summer. So I'm going to put that beneath my photo. And then I have these cute little ice creams that we talked about that I want to get on there. And then this layout is going to be pretty much 
a done deal. I want to look for my um, a little paper clip I have. Let's see. I've got I've got these little gooey things that at one point were in a nice clean roll and it unraveled in my craft bag. And here we are. Do I want to do this? Oh, I think that's cute on either side of that. And then let me see. They come on these little things. I mean, they're really old, so who knows? Maybe they don't even make them anymore. Where is my other ice cream? Here it is. And I think we will say that is that as soon as I get this piece on there. Because they're so cute. Oh, this one kind of wraps around it really nicely too. Okay, let me show you up close. So lots of fun stamping with my Catherine Pooler inks that were from the store. These acrylic ice creams are so perfect. I mean, look at them. So incredibly cute. And then, of course, her. This little bit's up on a little foam. And that is that, my friends. I'm going to have still shots in one second. And what else? Remember to use my code, which is Shannon20, to save when you place your next order in the store. And I'll have links down below for the website as well as the Facebook group. Okay. Bye for now, friends. Oh, still shots in one second. Okay. Bye, guys.